Discovering Language Nuances, Connotation and Denotation. Hello, language learners. Today we're delving into an exciting topic that will truly refine your English language skills, understanding connotation and denotation. These terms play a vital role in determining the context of your communication and can significantly improve the way you express your thoughts. So, let's dive right in. Denotation is the dictionary definition of a word, its literal meaning. For example, the word, home, denotes a place where someone lives. On the other hand, connotation is the emotional and cultural associations attached to a word beyond its dictionary definition. It's the subtle, and spoken layers of meaning. If we take, home, as an example again, its connotations might include warmth, comfort, safety, family, and belonging. When learning new vocabulary, it's important to understand not just the denotations, dictionary meanings, but also the connotations of words. Remember that synonyms can have the same denotation but different connotations. Let's consider the words, slender, thin, and skinny. All three words have a similar denotation, they describe a lack of excess weight. But their connotations are different. Slender has a positive connotation implying an attractive, healthy thinness. Thin is neutral, and skinny can often have a negative connotation suggesting too thin or undernourished. Antonyms, on the other hand, often have opposite connotations as well as denotations. For example, happy and sad have opposing dictionary meanings and are generally associated with positive and negative emotions, respectively. Understanding the connotations and denotations of words is vital because it shapes the way we understand and communicate messages. The right choice of words can help you convey your thoughts more accurately and appropriately. It ensures the tone, emotion, and subtlety of your message is received as intended. Additionally, it prevents misunderstandings and aids in more effective communication. To help you grasp this concept, let's consider a couple of examples. The words, childish, and childlike, both denote qualities or behaviors associated with children. However, childish has a negative connotation implying immaturity, while childlike has a positive connotation suggesting innocence and wonder. Now it's your turn. Consider the words confident and cocky. Both denote a sense of self-assuredness, but can you figure out their different connotations? Thank you for joining us today in this exploration of connotation and denotation. We hope you now have a better understanding of these concepts and their importance in English language learning. Keep practicing and remember, effective communication lies not just in what you say, but also in how you say it. Until next time, keep exploring the nuances of language.